Our next adventure took us on a little road trip to the Glasshouse Mountains. And on our way, we spotted our first kangaroos on the side of the road. The mountainous scenery on our drive was really beautiful. Once we arrived at the Glasshouse Mountains National Park, we hiked up Mount Nunu. New. There were a lot of steps on the hike, but it really wasn't too bad. Once she reached the top, the views were pretty great. We also had a great view of the mountains at the hotel we stayed at. So the next morning we got up early and took some nice sunrise photos. I was super excited to visit the Australia Zoo. I grew up watching the crocodile hunter and to see the place where the Irwins work and live was really exciting. I was also really impressed with how different this zoo was from other zoos I've been to. I loved how most of the zoo focused a lot on native Australian wildlife. It was also cool to see how they would walk some animals outside of their enclosures so that they could get exercise outside of where they lived. I saw dingoes being walked around, as well as wombats. I think the dingoes were one of my favorites. They were mostly napping during the hot, sunny day, and I can't say I blame them. The zoo had some areas where you could walk through enclosures. The koala had eucalyptus trees where you could search for koalas, almost like being in the wild. And some were close enough to walk right up to. The kangaroo area also had a walk through. You can walk right up to the kangaroos, and you also had the option to feed them. Of course, you can't visit the Australia Zoo without visiting the Crocosseum. This arena is where they do the daily feedings of the crocs, and you can see some of the crocs Steve Irwin used to feed. There were two types of cassowaries at the zoo. This dwarf cassowary and the southern cassowary. To me, they look like they have dinosaur feet and you definitely don't want to mess with these guys. They are aggressive and have been known to kill humans.
these are just some of the other animals we found at the zoo. And our final stop at the zoo was Bendy's Treehouse. And finally we drove to Brisbane for our last evening on this section of our trip. Brisbane was a really cool mix of city life and nature. I loved how you could quickly get to the beautiful nature walking trails right in the city. There was also wildlife like these flying foxes all over the place. Our goal at the end of our city walk was to get a good spot to take some nice sunset photos of the bridge and city skyline. Along our way we walked through a lot of great looking restaurants with a view. We also had to take an elevator along the pathway. Our spot to watch the sunset over the city could not have been better. We spotted a little kookaburra as we were taking photos. Now it was time for us to head to our dinner reservations. We splurged and went to a pretty fancy restaurant called Elska. There were a lot of small dishes but it ended up being a lot of food in the end, and everything was really tasty. The only thing I wasn't so sure about was our watermelon salad, which had some ants in it. <laughs> and that's the end of our trip to Brisbane. It was a beautiful city, and I gotta say, I am super excited about our next stop. <laughs>